Hello, I this is Artifacts Mars, and I've been wanting to do this video for some time, talk about the uh, trolls who tell you how bad the cell phones are for you. I'm going to tell you not to worry about this. Before we can discuss cell phones, we have to understand electromagnetic spectrum. And that's what you're seeing here in this illustration. Uh, the longer the wavelength, the higher the frequency. So those two are inversely proportional and it travels in basically a sine wave. That's what you're seeing here is a sine wave. Frequency, uh, wavelength is measured from crest to crest, if you will. Like I said, frequency is inversely proportional to this. It's important to understand this because the lower the frequency, the less damage it can do. Well, you don't actually start getting into serious damage as long as you're not uh, hugging a radio transmitter tower. I wouldn't do that. But we don't start actually getting into anything until we get into the ultraviolet. The reason is it doesn't have the energy to break molecular bonds. See, once you get into x-rays, that's called ionizing radiation, and it can break molecular bonds and create what's known as ion pairs. You don't want that. The radio waves are all the way on the right on this uh, illustration. Radio waves simply cannot do that. Cell phone... So-called radiation is actually just radio waves. You would think people would understand this, but a lot of people fall for these uh, trolls. Trolls who either, either they know what they're talking about, in which case they're liars, or they don't know what they're talking about, in which case they're fools. Either way, they're full of it. So we've gotten past the... Uh, gotten past that, so we're going to take a look at typical cell phone output. 631 milliwatts. 0.631 watts, in other words. That's not a lot. I looked at uh, some information up. Uh, the average allowed leakage from microwave is 4 milliwatts per cubic per square centimeters. Well, that adds up uh, pretty much. Microwaves are not considered to be dangerous, except possibly to uh, what they call pacemakers. That's another discussion. 631 watts, milliwatts. So you got to use a little common sense here. That little battery doesn't have a lot of juice in it. Now, CB radios are limited to 4 watts. Mobile CB radios. But that's a lot more than what you're seeing here. People still use those, too. Take a look at this. That's on microwaves. Now... Here's the uh, cell phone frequencies, 800 mil megahertz, 824, 894 megahertz range. Basically, these are just radio waves. That's all they are. They're not radiation at all. But these idiots on YouTube and elsewhere are saying that they're radiation when they're not. It's just... Well, it's electromagnetic, it's radio waves. But they're not, there isn't enough energy there to be harmful. You'd have to go and hug a cell phone tower or something like that. Now, so here's question and answer time. I give you a little time to think this over. What enormous radio source dwarfs everything on the 
humankind does on this planet. Dun 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 Time's up. The answer is the sun. How do I know this? I don't have to prove anything. We all know that the AM spectrum uh starts being repressed when the sun comes up, meaning you can only get closed stations. The rest of them are uh, blacked out by the sun. See, the sun is a huge, huge radio transmitter. Most of it's in the visible light range and in uh, infrared range. Now, do you fear going out and feeling warmth of the sun on your skin? I mean, infrared waves are much higher on the electromagnetic spectrum than our radio waves. Their infrared waves are above microwaves. Do you fear feeling uh, the warmth of the sun on your skin? Then why should you, f if the answer is no, then why should you fear radio waves? See, this is science one-on-one. But these trolls keep claiming uh, 5G is going in the world. 5G is going to do that. And cell phones are going to give you cancer. It's balderdash. It is BS. Well, there you go. All I can do is present facts to you. If uh, radio waves were that bad from you, for you, I guarantee you the sun would have put us out of our misery a long time ago. Because when the sun comes up, you're being bombarded uh, with radio waves. Uh, big time. And let me remind you that visible light is even higher on the spectrum. And that won't hurt you unless you get too much of it. And then it can hurt your eyes. And ultraviolet can hurt you because it's a little bit less than radio wave x-rays. It's not uh, what you call ionizing radiation, like x-rays and gamma rays are. But it can hurt you. It's right one step below that, including ultraviolet C, which I understand is quite dangerous. So don't listen to these idiots. They're just trolls. I hope. They don't believe their own stuff. All I can do is present the facts to you on this and let you decide for yourself. But I wouldn't listen to them. There's no dangers from cell phones. Uh, unless you stick them in your butt pocket and they get too hot and they catch fire. I've heard of that. That's another discussion. That's not a good thing, obviously. But we're talking about so-called cell phone radiation, which is just radio waves. That's all it is. And over time, you know, it's gotten less. Just as x-rays have gotten less, uh, we need less in the way of amplitude, which is actually the strength of it. And the amplitude on uh, cell phone stuff like I've sh like shown is much less. 631 milliwatts. That's uh, the amplitude. The amplitude would be how high the waves are on the spectrum. Basically. The more energy you put into it, the higher those waves will be. That's amplitude. Wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional. So there you have it. I'm not going to go any longer. Uh, don't worry about your cell phone. Just, I put these idiots in the uh, realm of, same realm as uh, flat earth people. Don't listen to them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.